Hello and welcome to Monday's edition of Cracking the Cryptic. We're going to take a look at the Times uh, Cryptic now um, and see how we go. I'll try and do a live-ish sort of. I won't go as fast as I can. So unusually fab iconic. I'm immediately thinking this is an anagram of fab iconic without even looking at the enumeration which is nine. So now I know it is. Name for a series and that is our old friend Fibonacci. Should be a helpful answer. Split with females certain. Okay. Uh, I think this is Fisher. That's what I want it to be. With female apostrophe s. I wonder if that's saying female is sure. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of a pun, isn't it? Maybe it could have had a question mark, but f is sure for certain. Um, shoot mate in Chicago. Well, in Chicago, you might call someone your bud, and that's certainly a type of shoot. One corrupting prophet ensnares French noble. Well, the way to get this is to know that uh, this spelling of duke or duck, I don't know how you, how you actually pronounce it, is a, a French noble. So one corrupting now looks much easier. We're just looking for seducer, I think, with seer for a prophet going around the edge of our, of our duck. Heading for London group is trouble. Heading for London group is trouble. Uh, I don't know what that is. What attracts smokers? Okay, it looks like nicotine, doesn't it? Nearly ten outside one small building. Well, one cot, a cot is a small building, and nearly ten is nine. So it's nine around the outside of uh, one cot there. Uh, what's some substitute for chocolate over cutting sugar, perhaps? Uh, Carob? Over. Uh, not sure. can't quite see how that works, so we'll come back to it. Gone to get a meal for an Italian. Well, if something's gone, it's passed. If past gets A, to get A there, and then meal for an Italian, that's my tip, I think, in one of the videos last week, is there should be no superfluous words in a Times Cryptic crossword. So if we read that clue again, gone to get meal from an Italian, would have been, um, you know, essentially the same sentence. So the fact that A is there ought to be important. Um, Father on the continent imports British wig. Mm. Father on the continent is making me think of you know, pear, P E R E. Um. Oh, I'm not sure I know that. Uh, present flags in support of squadrons foremost flyer. Um, well, I haven't got this yet, but. I've thought of a short synonym for present, which is now, and I put that after squadron's first letter, and that gives me snow. And this certainly looks like it could be the name of a flyer, a snow, snow flags, in support of flags. Um, I haven't got it, but I think we'll, we'll get it in the end. Formal speech where one usually sleeps. Where one usually sleeps. Hmm, not sure. What's this one? Have I looked at this one? Like wet weather, inclement, possibly that would fit. To increase increment, making river into lake. Okay, so we were on the right line straight away there. The L and the R are shifting there uh, in increment. So half the rally, place advert for passengers. The rally place. It's an advert for passengers. Uh, no, I'm not sure. Let's see if we can get 13. Okay, well, again, I look at this clue and I instantly think it's an anagram of Lab Beaker without even reading the clue because the letters are so weird. 
but they can only appear if the setter needs them to appear in this order. Um, so, breakable. That is clearly, uh, I think, what the compiler is intending us to get there. It's an anagram of lag, lag beaker, sort of an and lit. Um, so, this does look like Karob, doesn't it? What's some substitute for chocolate? Overcutting sugar, perhaps. Oh, carb. A carbohydrate is a sugar, isn't it? So it's O for over, as in, uh, you know, if somebody, if James Anderson bowls 13 overs in cricket, you'd write 13 O on the scorecard. So that's why O can be an abbreviation for over, and that's cutting carb there. So car obviously is the answer, which we suspected, but I was too stupid to, to be able to figure out why. So widespread disturbing pain vexes. Again, I'm sure this is expansive, isn't it? Pain vexes again. I mean, you just never see those two words together uh, in any normal sentence. So immediately be suspicious. Um, belief in lie after drink is taken. Well, belief. Uh, well, I think this is supposition. A supposition is a belief, and a lie is a position. And if we put um, position after a drink, which is if you drink something, you sup it. We get we get the answer. Heading for London. Heading for London. If you're going up, you're going. That's uh, often what you say. If you're going to London, I'm going up to town, up to London. And then a group is a set, and trouble is upset. So I think that's what that one's getting at. Oh, look at this one now. Imports British. Is this UK then? Yes, I think there is a word. Peruk. Not a word I see very often, but I think that this does mean uh, it's a type of wig. Um, so let's go for that. Half of rally place advert for passengers. Um, passengers are your ah, can't hit it. burden of working with America. Uh, if something's working, it's on. If the light's working, it's on. Uh, America is very often the US, obviously, and a burden is an onus. So that's quite that's quite a straightforward clue. Formal speech. I want this to be address. Where one usually sleeps. I suppose you normally sleep at your address, don't you? I was kept thinking of bed and cot there. Uh, car load. What about that here? Passengers. They would be a car load. So half the rally place. Monte Carlo. Ah, Monte Carlo. So half of Monte Carlo plus an ad for an advert. And a carload is a group of passengers. Snow bunting. Gosh, I am silly. Sorry about that. I should have got that more quickly. Flags for bunting there. Quite a nice clue. Where Douglas is? Well, Douglas is on the Isle of Man, I'm instantly thinking. Uh, stirring semolina with force. Yes, so it's an anagram of semolina, an F for force. That's a very straightforward um, clue. Attempt to keep old system of weights. Well, the shortest synonym you can have for an attempt that isn't a go is a try. We put try around O for old, we get a system of weights. We get just a uh, Troy. The mug finding something amusing about British prison. Well, the mug is a Toby jar, maybe. Something. Finding something amusing. Yeah, okay, something of so it might be a toy, I guess. And then jug for prison, rather than jar. Okay, so I think that's Toby Jug. Nearly run over brownish grey butterfly. Ah, uh, broomstone. Something brims it nearly runs over. Uh, nearly run over brim. Brownish grey, I suppose maybe brownish grey is the colour of stone. Um, and that's what that's getting at there. But brimstone is certainly a butterfly, so I'm pretty confident that's right. String player needing no book for help. Uh, well, that's bassist without the B. Another fairly straightforward clue there. Uh, let's have a guess at this without actually looking at the clue. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> oh, ancient religion's home is in Jamaica. 
home is going to be that in Jamaica. So, okay, Jainism, that possibly is an ancient religion, I think. And the way I've got that is I wasn't sure about the word, but I've got home, well, that's in. If you're in, you're at home. Is is just plain text, you can see it there, is. So in is in Jamaica. Well, I think if we looked in the dictionary, we'd find J-A-M is the sort of uh, official abbreviation for the country of, of Jamaica. So I'm going to go with that. Uh, Curtis man, well that looks like gent, so we'll put the J gent in and see what entertaining English author Jene. So that I think is correct. Um, 19 across, left making improvements, removing black text. Liter liter text is ah, letter lettering. Oh, making improvements, bettering, of course. Uh, without the black there. So we've had a lot of B removals, haven't we? We had a bassist removing its B, we've had bettering removing its B. Um, was there another one I thought that when we had a B being removed from something. Maybe I'll have to come back to it. Maybe it was a B being included in toy there. 17 down, iron. Iron, immediately when I see it, I'm thinking FE for the chemical symbol. FE is hung all over the place in a Chinese system or Feng Shui, I think. Let's see why. Uh, iron is hung. Okay, so anagram is hung. It is hung all over the place after FE for Feng Shui. Pop concert, that's a gig. Uh, books is a when you see books in the plural, it's very usually either the Old Testament or the New Testament. So we'll go for that because that's a word and that's certainly a type of a joint of meat or lamb, I think especially. Um, conjecture about origin, origins of the latest. Well, um, a conjecture could be a guess, couldn't it? And origins of the latest could be T for the first letter of the and L. We go with that and add a guess around the outside. If I could spell it and type, we could get gutless, which is certainly chicken. If you're chicken, you're gutless. So, uh, young fish, that's going to be an elver, I think, which is a type of baby eel. So, let's have a look at this. Always around lock, ever around L. So, yeah, this has got to be vehicle. Good film for an actor, chitty chitty bang bang safe. Where you get a vehicle in the sort of cinema sense, a vehicle for a great actor or great actress. Reduced price for lettuce or cost without its ending is a cos, which is a type of lettuce. And this looks like, um, uh, what's this, Narcissus? Drugs agent is a narc, is, and suspect is sus. So overall, this was a very easy puzzle today. Um, I probably made a typing error or something, but um, definitely a very good puzzle to start on if you're a relatively new solver. I mean, it's taken 13 minutes, but I've probably spent half of that chatting about it, so it's um, it's very accessible. Um, starts with a very nice opportunity for you to get five checking letters, for five initial letters for the downs, because Fibonacci, again, we've looked at it, fab iconic, it just has to be an anagram. Um, and even six across for pasta. I mean, gone to get a meal for an Italian. I mean, if, if you were asked to come up with a five-letter uh, word, which was a meal for an Italian, you'd either come up with pizza or pasta. And it's pretty, you can pretty easily work out which one of those is needed. Carload was probably one of the hardest answers, looking, looking at it now. I think spotting that was Monte Carlo. Uh, I needed a few checking letters there. And maybe the fact that crosses with this strange word, peruk, um, maybe that is a trickier part of the puzzle that, than I'm giving it credit for. So maybe this corner might be might be harder, but I mean, breakable is very doable. Karov was a slightly strange one, but we did talk about it at the time. Um, and then we've got we've got a lot of the letters of the alphabet. I'm just wondering if this is a pangram. Is there a Z in here anywhere? 
can't see one, is that the J and an X K? So you've got most of them, hasn't it? Um, through. No, I think this is pretty pretty accessible today. Um, anyway, I hope it's a useful run through. Um, and um, we'll be back next time, um, probably with a much harder puzzle. But this was Monday, and I think that there is a view that says that the puzzles tend to get hard through the week in the Times. It's it's not an official thing. It's not like the New York Times where puzzles start very very easy on Monday. I think even Dan Thayer who's the, uh, you know, the record holding champion uh, he, he often takes well under two minutes to finish the whole puzzle there um, but Saturday well that's a different kettle official fish altogether um, and uh, you know if you want a challenge especially if you're a Brit trying to get to grips with some of their uh, American culture good luck with that. Um, anyway thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time on Cracking Cryptic.